and welcome back to Football Manager 2015. Now, a few little updates for you guys. Um, we're not having the greatest of times right now. Uh, unfortunately, um, it seems my lack of experience when I decided to go Sunday League is causing quite a bit of trouble with my players. Um, they don't seem to be listening to anything that I'm saying. We had a little issue where I... I saw the player that we didn't necessarily need and it kind of went down really badly as the entire team sort of protested, if you like, against the fact that I'd got rid of him because they saw him as as being a, a, a prospect or whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, every single one of these players here is unhappy. So that's not great. Um, and it has affected our performances quite a bit. Let's just go into here and check our position in the table. We are now 7th. Now, weirdly, uh, see if I can show you the message. I got a message, an email, yesterday that confused me. And it's this one. Apparently I've secured a, myself a, uh, a playoff spot. I have no clue how I've managed it because I'm currently in seventh place. Now I know there's three teams that qualify for the, the playoffs because it's in the rules. So I don't get it. One team wins the league, the next three teams would be playoff positions, which is kind of strange because I'm seventh. So still not 100% sure why I have um, a playoff spot, but hey, my, my, my expectations were to reach a playoff promotion and or promotion playoff, sorry, and that's exactly what I've done. I still don't know how I've managed it. But there we go. I guess that's that's part of it. So let's try and see if we can see our transfers, because we have a few that we've done. Nothing major. Uh, I don't seem to be able to... Transfer history. There we go. Finally. These players here, I didn't sign. Didn't sign any of these. However, I did, what I did is release all these and get rid of all these players. So, um, I needed to basically free up some space because I didn't, I've still got no, no wages if you like, so I ended up just getting rid of people. Now, this is the one here, Andy Van Hoof and Mitchell Brathart that basically my teammates hated me for. Um, yeah, they, they didn't go down too well. None of the other guys have had any issues. But these two here, the teammates didn't enjoy at all. So that was the bit of an issue. That has been a real big, big issue, to be honest. But I've got two players in on loan as well. I've got Joris Klein-Halter from Vitesse, who can play uh, central midfield and also defensive midfield and centre-back. Yeah, again, his stats aren't amazing. I didn't really expect too much from him, but bearing in mind I have zero money to spend... Uh, I'm looking at freebies on loan, so I'm looking at youngsters that, that may come in and help me out. I mean, as you can see, he's only 17 years old, so he's there to help out, really. And yet again, Tom Lawrence from Leicester. Stats, yet again, aren't amazing. They're okay for his age, uh, but yet again, he, he's in here basically to add cover for left and right wing because uh, I don't have much. I'm still trying to look at... Um, possibilities for next season but we're out of the window now the window is just closed so that is all my transfers done and yeah to be honest guys i don't know if we're going to still be here next year um my players could end up getting me sacked by the looks of things as you can see my wage my wage budget's gone down i think 2000 but i have 19 players in my squad that are unhappy so far so that may or may not end with me not being here depends on what the players can do but yeah, that's just a little update, guys. And uh, we'll shall, I'll have another update at the end of the season, possibly before the pl promotion playoff, because I don't know how long those, those will last. And then uh, we'll see what happens. At least we've got th those to look forward to, so that's always nice. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again next time.